Okay, in this video we are looking at something called relative formula mass. Now, this is really very simple, um, uh, and it follows off from the, the work we did on atoms before. So, the relative formula mass is just the mass of the whole molecule. Now, in the last lesson we looked at um, how you determine the mass of a single atom, like a carbon atom or a hydrogen atom, and you can use the periodic table to find that out. But what about the mass of an entire molecule, like uh, a molecule of carbon dioxide? Well, <clears throat> And carbon dioxide, as you know, it's CO2. Now, there's no number next to the C, and that tells you that there is only one atom of carbon in this molecule. There are two atoms of oxygen, um, and the two goes after the O, not before it. Um, so, looking at our periodic table, we can see that a whole carbon atom, the entire mass of a carbon atom, is 12. <coughs> the entire mass of an oxygen atom is 16. So, remember, we're rounding these figures. So, in carbon dioxide, we have one carbon atom, a carbon atom weighs 12, and we have two oxygen atoms. Uh, each oxygen atom weighs 16, so two of them is going to be 32. Add those together, and we have a relative formula mass of 44. So we can say that carbon dioxide has a relative formula mass of 44. So it's very, very simple. There are three atoms in a molecule of carbon dioxide, and if we add up all of their weights, we get the weight of the molecule itself. Um, let's do another one. Calculate the relative formula mass of water. So water, H2O. Using our periodic table, we see that water has a mass, or, or hydrogen, has a mass of 1. But this time we've got two of them. Remember, that, remember the 2 after the H tells us that we've got two hydrogens and only one oxygen. So two hydrogens, two ones, that's 2. And our oxygen weighs 16. Again, we've got a, a three-atom molecule. Add those two hydrogens to that one oxygen, and we get a relative formula mass of 18. Um, it's that simple. Now it's your turn. Have a go at these three, and if you can do these three and get them right, then uh, you've got this one sorted. So pause the video now, have a go at these, and then check your answers and mark them. Okay, these are the answers. Have a look. If you've got them all right, well done.